Well, it's a side effect of cancer treatment that can happen years later, but now a newer way to treat it shows great success. Local 12's Liz Bonus explains how it works. Liz. Hey, Sydney, this therapy appears to help heal the body almost from the inside out. And for those surviving cancer, the team at Mercy Health Fairfield Hospital says it can be life changing. I had to go to radiation for uh, 50 days and five of those treatments were internal radiation. Catherine Syvris survived both breast and cervical cancer, but after needing radiation. They tell you ahead of time that the it is killing the cancer cells, but it is also going to damage good tissue. So when complications began from some of that damage years later? She was cured of the cervical cancer, but the collateral damage was to the bladder, which is right next to the cervix. Catherine turned to what these patients are getting right now inside this chamber. It is called hyperbaric oxygen therapy. It's 100% oxygen at a higher atmospheric pressure. The treatment has been around for a number of years and used in general wound healing, usually for those with diabetes. But in this case, she's been able to heal wounds inside her body as a follow-up and aftermath of cancer treatment. I was like, yes, a non-surgical option. This is good to me. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy appears to reverse what's called vascular compromise that can result from radiation treatment. It is delivered two hours a day, five days a week. Patients will typically see improvement after 12 to 15 treatments, uh, although we find there's a higher success rate when they go to 40 treatments or more. During treatment time, patients can watch TV or movies or take a snooze. And when therapy's finished, studies show at least 6 out of 10 have results similar to Catherine's. No more pain and complete tissue and organ healing. There does not appear to be a downside to this therapy, but no one therapy works the same way for everyone. In most cases now, it is covered by your medical insurance plan, and there are several hospitals and health systems in our area now that offer this kind of therapy.